Greetings. Originally, I wanted this to be a cheery first day of school makeup. That's prairie. But that ain't gonna happen because it's just not. And instead, I think I still really need to film this for myself because I think it's gonna cheer me up. I arrived today at one-ish in the morning but I didn't end up sleeping. So I'm starting with Laura Mercier Primer. I am in a messy room right now because my sister hasn't moved out since she graduated and Kira is moving in. So her stuff came to my room, which is okay, except for the fact that when I came home um, at like one something in the morning, I didn't have any sheets on my bed because I believe my sister was using my sheets. Um, yeah, uh, my eyes just, my gaze, my gaze just fell onto a dead bug carcass. That brings me to my next point. On my bed was a large bug corpse that thankfully kira was there to help me remove it because i do not like exoskeleton i was trying to sort through some of these things this morning and i saw an alive one crawl across over there and i mentally told myself you know calm down there's nothing to be afraid of you know you're not gonna die you know i'm not gonna it's not like a situation where i'm really i'm like oh i don't death by bug that's not the case prairie was on my table so i went over there and i was trying to calm down and distract myself and just look at her and hug her and everything but it, it wasn't helping and i couldn't there was no sleeping after that i tried to go back to sleep maybe three four times this entire morning it's really early right now i've been going on and on about fucking bugs but it's it, it's i'm sorry but you know what? I got that off my chest and I kind of feel better. Thanks for listening. I'm putting on concealer first as a base. Instead of that disgusting ass foam sponge that came with this. Chucking that. I'm using this silicone one by Pure. Thank you for sending this to me, Pure Cosmetics. It's so plush. It's almost like flesh. It's so creepy. But I'm just putting on a layer concealer surprisingly applies powder decently but the most important part for me is just how convenient it is to clean i can wash this every day you literally rinse it off my hair has grown out so before anybody rushes down to comment um yes i'm aware this could be lord farquad material i literally can be edna mode or lord farquad for halloween I thought that I left my straightener in New York, but I found it and I'm so happy. As you know, Lilith has graduated and she's going to stay home in California for a while. However, she is going to come and put a lot of her things into storage. Who knows, she could end up finding a job on the East Coast. Instead of putting brow gel, I just trim my brow hairs. So I left California yesterday. And the reason why my flight is so close to the first day of classes is not because I purposely wanted to wait until the last second, but it is because I got my wisdom tooth pulled out and I specifically had to go back in two weeks to get my stitches out. The sutures were not the kind that dissolve. I just noticed how freaking dark it is. I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. So far, I've only been ranting, even though I wanted the undercurrent of this video to be overall encouraging. I'll get to that part, I guess. But I'm still not done ranting, okay? If I were to make a pros and cons list, I'm, I'm so grateful to be here, to have shelter, my family, my friends, education. The cons, I don't even want to get into. It is not about listing and keeping track. And right now, my cons is just I'm tired. I didn't get sleep. I had school on my mind. Um, and I couldn't rest until I at least got got a head start of what I wanted to do in the day. And since I couldn't sleep, it was like 3 in the morning when I got to bed. And I couldn't sleep. So I decided to try to get some research done, which I actually did. So that was cool. I'm using ColourPop. Right now, this is Jam Out Super Shock Shadow. I just thought that 
pink would naturally complement. I'm just gonna go for the bold look. Try to pile it on as much as possible. This is an eyeliner that I got. I bought this a week ago, but I don't have anything to apply it with. This is that silicone Glossier Play brush. I'm gonna really miss just being able to dress up and wear colorful things with with places to go every day, like going to class every day and stuff. I had a great travel day though, by the way. Um, it was really pleasant flight. I didn't have anyone to the left or right of me and I was in the emergency aisle. So I, or the, sorry, <laughs> the exit aisle. I picked up a book called Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I'm enjoying it. I think I got over halfway through. Once I got home, everything just started to crumble because I forgot to mention the part where I told maintenance, I think two months ago, that our shower tiles needed repairing because Kira was showering and as she showered, the tiles just crumbled down to her feet because the way that they plastered it on was wrong. You can tell by the residue that I left. They covered it up with a tarp and I texted the manager again today and said, can you please follow up on it? It's been two months and she said that she'll send someone. So let's hope that he comes today. I'm gonna bring in the Baby Got Peach palette by ColourPop. I'm just gonna put that on later. I'm still not the best at liquid eyeliner and I often make it uneven. So that's why I'm not really talking much right now. It's funny to think that I was actually pretty nervous for just school starting in general because I normally don't have enough confidence in myself for some reason and that's something I'm working on to not be as passive when it comes to my work, be more passionate and just let that drive it and not be very turbulent whenever I feel I'm unsure about the concept or how to move forward and that's a really tough part about being in a creative field just don't be afraid of failing or looking bad or looking dumb or being looked down on just don't be afraid I'm not gonna say that it doesn't happen or that it's not gonna happen to you but just don't be afraid because it is so unfair to yourself to to cripple yourself in fear. Please don't relate this to my bug fear because it's different. Great. Oh my f Now I'm gonna have to put my eyeshadow on there. This poster is a good representation of me right now. Hanging in there. I'm just being dramatic, but I, I know. Like I know the important things there are to know and I don't mean to make anybody worry for me. I've just been feeling really washed out YouTube-wise, like for the last year, I don't know. Everything got so routine, and to be honest, YouTube wasn't fun for me. It was safe, it was routine, and it was productive, but I don't, I wouldn't say it was fun, and that's something that I really miss. My sister and I started Piper Blue, and being able to do art and share it with you is really fun. And now we have a curated space just for that. YouTube is such a different place now, but it it's kind of sad when, when it becomes about the idea, literally the idea of success. Um, while I'm on that, by the way, tangent, um, I watched a video, it was an interview with Wayne Thiebaud, painter. I actually wrote down what he said because it, resonated with me um, he said i'm gonna wait for that truck i wrote down what he said because i really liked it i don't believe in the idea of success when we surrender ourselves to that i think we've lost something special oh crap i put on bronzer over the highlighter oh well too lazy I'm not I'm not going back Oh, wow, makeup does temporarily fix your troubles, you know? It's nice. It's like therapeutic painting on your face. And I feel a lot better. I wanted to bring up speed on some other things, like now that I'm starting my final year, I'm going to do my thesis. But for now, I have a presentation on what I'm going to work on just for fall. And I'll touch on that in the vlog because I did want to do a vlog this week. And I'm not sure if that all depends on if I can get the Toronto vlog up. I'm starving. 
So after I get ready, I'm gonna tidy up, do the things that I have on my to-do list, feed Prairie and just start my day. But before that, I have to do my hair. I'm gonna texture my hair a little bit. Kind of just like curve it, just at the top there. You see that? That bump that goes up? I really like how low maintenance this hair is. I think it really suits me right now. It came out darker than I intended, but I think it was a blessing in disguise because it's exactly as my natural hair color. So I don't have to worry about my roots growing out, finally. So I'm gonna have my natural hair color for a while until I get the itch to bleach it again But that might not be for a long time. Who knows? I'm gonna turn it off Ooh, yeah, I almost forgot the last thing I wanted to wear today as perfume Givenchy gifted this to me well over a month ago now and I intended to film in California um, and use it there, but I still haven't opened it because I've just been really behind on content and it stresses me out and it's just gonna be a casual unboxing. This is the Linterdi. I can't, I can't. Linterdi. Linterdi. I tried. It smells very sweet. Definitely something floral. So this is the Linterdi Edition Couture. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. So it has the undernote of a white flower. Every time you sniff it, it changes a little bit and it's definitely reacting with my skin as well. So now I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my day. And this is my makeup look. First day of the last year. Thank you so much nonetheless for keeping me company this morning and I'm sending my love to you. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Also, wish me luck in school. I wish you luck, but however, I just wanna say that your school year and your work, whatever it is, it's only as good as you make it. So you can make it a good year. You can work hard, be productive, um, and that's what I intend to do for mine. So um, yeah, we're in this together. So I'll see you soon.